Did you know that according to a recent survey, nearly 70% of people in their 20s and 30s say they're stressed about money? And a significant portion of that stress comes from the pressure to become a millionaire before hitting the big 3-0 and 4-0. That's a lot of stress for a goal that might not even lead to the happiness and fulfillment it promises. Today, we're going to debunk the myth of needing to be a millionaire by a certain age. So, if you're near your 30th birthday, or maybe even your 40th, this video is for you. Before we get started, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss out on our next videos. In today's fast-paced world, becoming a millionaire by the age of 30 has become a sort of benchmark for success. You know, it's a common goal that many young adults aspire to, fueled by stories of tech prodigies and entrepreneurial whiz kids who've made it big before their third decade. You've probably heard of Mark Zuckerberg, who became a billionaire at 23 thanks to Facebook, or Evan Spiegel, who was a billionaire by 25 after co-founding Snapchat. These stories, while inspiring, are the exception rather than the rule. Yet, they've created a narrative that if you're not a millionaire by 30, you're somehow falling behind. The allure of wealth is undeniable. It promises a life of comfort, security, and freedom. With wealth, you can afford the finer things in life, provide for your loved ones, and not have to worry about living paycheck to paycheck. It's kind of universal desire to want to improve one's financial situation. And there's nothing wrong with that. However, it's important to remember that wealth is just a means to an end, not an end in itself. Of course, there's the allure of fame here. In our social media-driven society, fame is often equated with success. We see famous influencers living glamorous lives, entrepreneurs being featured on magazine covers, and celebrities being adored by millions. It's literally very easy to get caught up in the idea that being famous means you've made it. And yes, there's also the promise of a secure future. This is perhaps the most compelling reason why so many strive to become millionaires at a young age. The idea of being financially secure and not having to worry about money in the future is incredibly appealing. It's comforting to think that if you're a millionaire by 30, you'll be set for life. But wait, let's just take a step back from this dream and look at the bigger picture. Is it really feasible to accumulate a million dollars by the time you're 30? Or is this just an unrealistic expectation that's likely to lead to disappointment? The truth is, becoming a millionaire by 30 is not just about hard work and luck, it's also about circumstances. Not everyone has access to the same opportunities. Some people may have financial support from their families, while others may have to start from scratch. Some may live in areas with a high cost of living where even a six-figure salary doesn't stretch very far. And if that's not enough, the pressure to become a millionaire at a young age can lead to risky financial decisions. In the pursuit of quick wealth, one might be tempted to invest in risky ventures or accumulate debt, which could eventually lead to financial ruin instead of financial independence. According to a report, less than 1% of the world's population are millionaires. That's a very small percentage, don't you think? And the percentage of people who achieve this feat before the age of 30 is even smaller. So, if you're not a millionaire by 30 or even 40, well, you're in the majority. Interestingly, there's also a psychological aspect included. Psychologists have long studied the impact of societal and self-imposed pressures on mental health. When it comes to financial success, these pressures can often lead to stress, anxiety, and even depression. The constant comparison with others who have achieved this goal can lead to feelings of inadequacy and low self-esteem. Dr. Robert L. Leahy, a psychologist and author of The Worry Cure, suggests that this kind of financial stress can lead to what he calls fortune-telling. Negative, predictive thinking that something will just go wrong. And you know what? This can create a cycle of anxiety where the fear of not achieving your financial goals leads to even more stress which in turn makes it harder to achieve these goals. Let's be honest, the pursuit of wealth can sometimes lead to a neglect of other important aspects of life, such as health, relationships, and personal growth. As Carl Jung, the famous Swiss psychiatrist, once said, the word happiness would lose its meaning if it were not balanced by sadness. Moving on, yes, financial success is a significant aspect of life, but it's not the only one. There are other skills that are equally, if not more, important. Let's talk about these skills, which often get overshadowed in the race to become a millionaire. 
Number one, of course, emotional intelligence. It's the ability to understand, use, and manage your own emotions in positive ways to relieve stress, communicate effectively, empathize with others, overcome challenges, and diffuse conflict. Consider a situation where you're dealing with a difficult client or colleague. Emotional intelligence can help you navigate such situations with grace and professionalism, turning potentially negative experiences into positive ones. Second skill is resilience. There will be times in your life when you face setbacks, disappointments, and failures. Resilience is the ability to bounce back from these adversities. Think of any successful person you admire. Chances are, they faced numerous challenges and setbacks in their journey. But what sets them apart is their resilience, their ability to keep going despite the odds. Third skill can be adaptability. Today, new technologies, market trends, and societal changes can render certain skills and jobs obsolete. Adaptability is the ability to learn new skills, adapt to changes, and stay relevant. Fourth skill is creativity. And it's not just being good at art or music. Creativity is about thinking outside the box, solving problems in new ways, and bringing fresh ideas to the table. In a world where automation and AI are becoming increasingly prevalent, we can all agree that creativity is a skill that can set you apart. Having discussed the importance of building other skills, let's now turn our attention to a skill that's directly related to our main topic, financial literacy. It's a term you've probably heard before. The ability to understand and effectively use various financial skills, including personal financial management, budgeting, and investing. But I'm not a finance person, so why should I care? Well, according to a survey, nearly two-thirds of adults worldwide are not financially literate. This lack of financial knowledge can lead to poor financial decisions and, of course, financial stress. Did you know the famous boxer, Mike Tyson, despite earning over $400 million during his boxing career, Tyson filed for bankruptcy in 2003? Not once, but multiple times. It's the best example that earning a lot of money is not the same as being able to manage it effectively. To improve your financial literacy, start by educating yourself. There are plenty of resources available online, including blogs, podcasts, and online courses, even YouTube channels like ours, where you can learn about personal finance and investing. Now let's talk about finding the balance. You know, creating harmony among different aspects of your life like work, personal life, health, and relationships. Not letting one aspect dominate at the expense of others. In the race to become a millionaire by 30, it's easy to lose sight of this balance. You might find yourself working long hours, neglecting your health, and missing out on precious moments with your loved ones. But at what cost? Is the stress, burnout, and strained relationships worth the extra money in the bank? Ask yourself this today. How can you find balance in your life? Before we wrap up, it's time to reveal the real trick to living a fulfilling life. And you know what? The real trick is not about becoming a millionaire by 30 or 40. It's not about accumulating wealth, gaining fame, or securing a future. It's not even about financial literacy or finding balance, although these are all important aspects of life. The real trick is much simpler, yet often overlooked. It's about finding joy in the journey, not just the destination. You see, life is not a race to become a millionaire. It's literally a journey to be enjoyed. You have to learn, grow, and have an experience to make a difference. You'll find joy in small things. You will find yourself celebrating your achievements and learning from your failures. The real trick is about loving what you do and doing what you love. So many studies suggest that people who find joy in the journey are more likely to be happy and satisfied with their lives, regardless of their financial status. They are less likely to experience stress, burnout, and other negative effects associated with the pursuit of wealth. So the next time you find yourself stressing about not being a millionaire by 30 or 40, remember this real trick. Because at the end of the day, it's not about how much money you have in the bank, but how much joy you have in your heart. Well, that's it for today. We hope this video has given you a new perspective on success and happiness. If you enjoyed the info in this video, we'd love to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this topic?
Do you agree or disagree with anything we've discussed? Drop your comments below. And if there's any topic you'd like us to cover in future videos, let us know that too. Before you go, don't forget to check out our video on the 15 top millionaire secrets to get rich quickly. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and press the bell icon. Thanks for watching.